five-time Olympic medalists, three-time world champions, and eight-time national champions, Tessa Virtue and Scott Moyer are the most decorated figure skaters in the history of the sport. And now they're joining Patrick Chan, Elvis Stoiko, and others for a Thank You Canada tour. And it is a pleasure to welcome Tessa and Scott here on the morning show with us. And uh, you guys are just reminiscing. We're looking at the wall behind mm. us here. And uh, what do you feel when you see all these photos through the years? A little nostalgic. Yeah, yeah. it's neat to yeah. see. So many great memories, and that's what's been fun about this Thank You Canada Tour is because the cast, I mean, we've really grown up together. We've skated with Patrick Chan since we were kids, and it's so neat to be on this side of our career, post-Olympics, with the pressure off, and we can just think about entertaining. Yeah, but Tessa, I feel like, uh, never mind the cast, all of Canada feels like we've grown up with you two. Does it feel that way to you guys? Absolutely. I think so, a little bit. I think that's why we wanted to go across the country and into all these markets and, and kind of celebrate um, with the people who supported us. I mean, being an amateur athlete, it isn't an, an easy job and you need the support of a community, a country and we've always been felt so fortunate to have that and this is kind of our way to give back and, and say thank you. So our show is a lot of things. We kind of look back at our careers and we go back to 94 with Stoico and, uh, and then we also just have a blast in the second half and kind of move more into just getting people out of their seats and dancing. And uh, this has been a real thrill for us so far. Uh, we're about halfway through the tour now, so it's really exciting. Now we know your skills. You'd be a great addition yeah, to well, the <laughs> audience. <laughs> if we go, you yeah, know, if we get we're, sick, then. Yeah. Yeah. We're on standby. We're in? Yeah, okay, good. Yeah. Yeah. For sure, for yeah. sure. Elvis can vouch for us. Right. I saw <laughs> Elvis' reactions. Uh, I want to talk about you guys, obviously, king and queen of ice dance. Does that, the, does the ice dance, does the world of dance translate onto the dance floor? Do you guys kill it on the dance floor as well? Depends. <laughs> I mean, I'm always dancing, whether it's in yeah. pajamas in my kitchen or cooking or, you know, on so you the, got the off moves. the ice. I, I, always, on I, ice I don't know if, I'm, if I have the moves, but I, I love it. <laughs> I, I love to dance if it's choreographed for me. Like, I need a professional who can show me how You're to do so something. Natural, but then also, like, if I'm at a wedding and I've maybe been going to the, Put you know, to bar bed, I gotta, I gotta loosen yeah. up a bit. Yeah. For sure. For yeah. sure. So would you guys ever consider doing maybe Dancing with the Stars? Good question. That's a good question. Have you even be been so asked? Much fun. I mean, do you think it's kind of cheating? I always thought it was cheating a little bit because we've danced. You do have an edge. Yeah. yeah. And we're used to that partner work, which is yeah. probably half the battle. Mm -hmm. but and if we fun. got put against each other, we would be probably end our partnership because we're pretty competitive. <laughs> you know what we'd have to do is we'd have to dance together. Yeah. Maybe just give us a coach, but we yeah, would we dance together. The, we really don't want the pro. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> we leave the pro at home. We got this. Well, speaking of that, you guys, you guys have been partners since you were kids. Yeah. Have you ever partnered with someone else? Not really, no. And uh, for us, it's mostly we didn't have a passion for the sport until we were skating together. How old until are you we guys were these here? Kids. I was probably eight. Yeah. Scott would have been ten. And or these seven kids, and nine. These kids weren't going to the Olympics. No. Like, everyone's always like, "Oh my gosh, at seven and nine, you just started your quest." Well, no, not really. Oh, but <laughs> they were still better than us. <laughs> but I was, I was leading. Yeah. <laughs> Good you know, timing. Oh, okay. you know, that begs the question, you though. Were. I think that's why it worked. Uh, when, when did you guys know that you had it, like that uh, you could be Olympians? You know, we have very different answers to this question. Yeah. I realized that we had a chance of winning the Olympics in January of 2010. <laughs> Just in time. Just yeah. <laughs> in time. And you? Yeah, I, I was a little bit earlier. When when Vancouver was announced, that's when I was. My coach was standing beside me at the time, Paul McIntosh, and he said that could be a really special Olympics for you. And that kind of stuck in my brain. Uh, but when we were first alternates in for the Torino Games in 2006, I think that's when both of us were just like, we're not, we're not missing the next games. We're going to be there for sure. So. Uh, yeah, but still, those little kids. I don't think they had a they had a clue. Yeah. You know? right, now we're talking games. Can we see you? Again, at an Olympic game? I think we'll be at the games. In some capacity. <laughs> <laughs> you know what we'll I do. We'll definitely be like you. there <laughs> in Beijing. <laughs> I just don't think, I don't know. That's a great question. We haven't had a chance yet to catch our breath after these games. Um, and this tour is, is a great project for us, but we need a little bit more time, I think. Uh, and we'll have an announcement coming out soon for mm -hmm. us. But it's, it seems a little far-fetched. Like, Korea was so magical, and we still like every day we're like pinching ourselves to to can't believe just how perfect it was. Mm -hmm. And perfect's a word I. Well, hate. it seemed to kind of go to another level, as special as the Vancouver Games were, mm -hmm. and they certainly were for all of us uh, here in Canada. You're right; that last win seemed to take you guys to another level. Have you kind of come to grips with your celebrity now? <laughs> 
No. Oh, I think probably not because just hearing that sounds um, strange and a little bit foreign, but it has been nice. I'm not sure if that's the power of social media or, you know, just how the magnitude of the games. Mm -hmm. um, it was so nice that people did connect with our performances and, and felt invested in our careers. That's mm -hmm. certainly heartwarming. Speaking of celebrities and social media, you had some big celebrities reach out to you guys after that, right? Yeah. yeah Ryan Reynolds? Ryan yes. Reynolds was probably one of the yeah. bigger ones. Yeah, that was... Yeah. Always surprising, was... right? <laughs> oh, here he is right here, and you were uh, oh, yeah. replying to him. The Just a little back and forth with Ryan Reynolds. Oh, yeah. not, oh, bad. Yeah. <laughs> not bad. Not bad. I want to talk about your chemistry a little bit, because we tried to capture it in our little tribute to you I guys. You did well. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Um, but that chemistry between the two that we all got so uh, captivated by, tell me you guys have arguments off ice. Do you, do, does that chemistry well, hold throughout? Well, no, we're very passionate people, and we're, we're, we really care about what we do. So naturally, there is sometimes some friction, but I have to be honest, it's very few and far between. And when we, when we do have arguments, wouldn't be the way we uh, communicate. We just get really quiet, actually. <laughs> um, that's our biggest fight, is when we're not talking at all. But so we work who, who on our the first relationship. To, who's the first to break the silence? I think that alternates, mm. actually. Okay. Yeah. Sometimes God, starting you guys, those you difficult guys, conversations is the most difficult. I'm, uh, I'm like, the, oh, I don't want to talk about it for a long time. It's, <laughs> it's like, well, that's not really productive, and that bugs me so much. That makes so much more sense. She's much more logical. Just finally, I want to know, Tessa, has Scott ever dropped you? Because I really feel like Carolyn dropped yes. me. In that video. She kind of let me down. You okay. dropped yeah. yourself. That's probably there, true. Okay. There was a topic involved there, I will yeah. say that. Um, no, never, never. Yeah. I'm so lucky. I have so. That's I don't nice. think so. Uh, I remember in Japan on tour, I kinda, we had a bad left that went, Ooh. I, I don't even remember that. But I sure saved you. Yeah, yeah, I feel like he's pretty good at like jumping under to save save the lift. Yeah, there was there was no trust. No. Yeah. yeah, no, no I didn't. Take a couple more years. So. Okay. <laughs> Just a few more. We're back out there, though. Yeah. We had something. I saw a spark. <laughs> All right, we'll work on it. We'll work on it. All right, for more information and tour dates for the Thank You Canada Tour with Tess and Scott, visit the Thank You Canada Tour .ca. All right, Tessa and Scott, thank you guys. Thank you so much. Good to see Always you. A pleasure.